All right, so looking at this first question, we've got five numbered cards. Uh, each card has a number between 0 and 9, and the number on the last card is hidden. But it says that the range of the cards is 6. What's the number on the last card? So the range is the biggest, take away the smallest, and we know that that equals 6. Now, if we imagine that 9 is our biggest, Okay, and there can't be a number bigger than 9 on our list, so 9 has to be the biggest. We've got to figure out what we take away from 9 to get 6. So 9 take away 3 is 6. So therefore 3 needs to be the smallest card. Now you can do this question with a bit of trial and improvement, try different numbers, and just work out um, how you get the range of 6. Looking down at the next question... Uh, it says there's a different set of five cards, still numbered between 0 and 9, but it says the median of the cards is 5. Um, write down two whole numbers that could be on the last card. Okay, so if I write out just five little dashes here, and these are in order, and the median is going to be the middle number, so there's going to be a 5 there. Now if I fill in the blanks, so if I fill in a 2 here, and a 6 and a 7, we could have a 1 on here, and that would make the median 5. Remember, the median needs to be 5, and these numbers here are given to us, so they're pretty much locked in. We could have a 0, Okay, that would make complete sense, or the 2 could be here, and we could have a 3 or a 4. And technically, if the cards don't have to be different, um, we could have had a, another 2, we could have had another 5. So my first answer, I'm going to put 0, and second answer, it could be a 1, but it could have been a 2, 3, 4, or a 5 as well, and that would work.